explosive television. Shocking television. This is good television. This is genius. All right. Anyway, so what happens when a woman who is a police officer decides to take off her clothes? Someone did this about 10 years ago. Some cop. She wasn't as good looking as Carol Shia. I think she was like, she posed in like Hustler or something. I don't know what it was. Hey, yeah, bring in Carol. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, Carol. Ooh. <laughs> You're hot. Hey, even have you get your gun strapped on and stuff. And handcuffs. And handcuffs. Cool. Yeah, you never know. I might get fresh. You what might, about all that already? You might have to subdue me. You never know. Yeah. We'll those, aren't, those aren't breast implants? No, these are real. I can't believe as you're married. You can get. What'd you Why? get married for? Why not? Oh, you got the Playboy thing around your neck? That's right. I'm proud. Do you ever show up at the station house dressed in this with this low-cut blouse and the tight jeans? I try to avoid it. Yeah, right. I look when I don't wear uh, low-cut blouses and tight jeans, so... I saw those pictures of you in uniform? Yeah. And it was like, um... You know, it's really weird looking at a girl with a gun strapped to her side, like a real sexy girl with a gun strapped to her yeah, side. What does that do to you? It well, puts me in my place. It's like my <laughs> uncle was a cop, you know, and he used to walk into the house when I was a little kid with his gun on. Yeah. Like into my house, you know, like he was always had the gun. Yeah, you have to carry a gun, right? Yeah, yes. you're supposed to. Yes. Yeah, so he would like walk in, and I know my parents would like be all freaked out because I was totally into the gun. I was totally fascinated <laughs> with the gun and everything. Yeah. Under lock. Yeah, and yeah. My uncle was like so into it and everything because he'd walk in, he'd be a big man right away, he'd win the kids over with his gun. Sure. But I know you see like a real, you got some body on you. What Thank do you work you. out? Yeah, three, four times a week. Yeah. So you met that guy? That the, guy? The, your husband? Oh, that guy, my husband. Yeah. He's like a real cop. He's like a sergeant out there. 13 yeah. Years. Yeah. yeah 13 Gary says years. he's like a real cop. Wow. Like Gary's talking to Carol and he goes, So where do you live? So she starts to tell him where he lives. He goes, No, 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 no. You just say, Queens. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like cops are always suspicious. Right. And they <laughs> don't give out any information. Right, right. You don't give out any information. Like he's a real cop. Yeah. Oh, boy. Speak that whole lingo and everything. Huh? I yeah, give we you, both do. I give you marriage two years. Oh. Do you? How long have it's you been, been a year already? I give it another year. Another year? Since, we'll see how. With Playboy. She'll never gonna, stay a cop is what you're saying. She's not going to stay a cop. What's going to happen? They're going to have her. They're going to give her like promotional stuff to do and she's going to really get into it. It's going to be a different way of life. And she's going to be gone every once in a yeah, while. Yeah, how can you maintain this job if you go to work for Playboy? Then she's going to start meeting guys. Rich guys. Rich guys. And she's going to she's gonna end up in divorce court. I you know, want to be the one at... with the money. Yeah, you're going to be me. the one with the money. I don't want the man to have the money. I want to have I the money. I can't believe you're a cop. And, you know, I wonder, like, I look at, I look at you with the, in those pictures with you with that police uniform mm -hmm. on. And I'm like, would I notice that she was a, a, a piece of <laughs> if you don't mind, If you don't mind, officer. <laughs> Here we go. So your husband must be, like, really proud, right? He's so proud. Yeah, oh, come he on. He's so excited. How many cops get a Playboy Playmate? Does he playmate? go around the station house showing his wife to people? Yeah, does he go around, like, showing the... He I doesn't... don't know. I honestly can't say yet. Where'd I don't you... think so. Gary said you guys met during the, um, during the, the, um... The riots. During Crown the riots. Heights. Crown Heights riot. Well, that a was a good exciting. place to pick up a guy. Yeah, you know right? what? Robin, didn't I say I was going to go down to the Crown Heights <laughs> riot and see yeah, if I can pick should. up women? <laughs> Believe me, judging from your look, I'd say you started the Crown Heights right. <laughs> <laughs> I think the blacks Thank and the you, Jews Alex. were going wild they when they showed up. Yeah. They were. I can I believe it. I had a few little uh, Jewish kids chasing me. I believe it. I really did. I thought you were Puerto Rican. Israeli girls don't look like Jewish girls here in, no. in this country. No, they don't. Yeah, it's a whole different look. And most Israeli girls think like American men are weaklings. Yes. Yeah. That's why you'd have to marry a cop. Like a strong, rugged cop. I rugged never cop. thought I'd marry a cop. Right. That'd be the last. You grew thing up I in Israel? No, I was only there till I was four. Well, you got some body on you. Yeah. Those are real breasts? Yeah, these are real. Let me frisk you. Ah. <laughs> let me cuff you, Howard. I'll let you yeah. cuff me if you let me frisk you. <laughs> You'll be cuffed the whole show. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. Can you handle it? Come on over here and kiss me. Hello. <laughs> I don't care if you're married. <laughs> oh, Howard. When's the last stop. time you kissed a. I'm blushing. When's the last time you kissed another man? <laughs> I don't while, recall. Huh? You don't have feelings for other guys? <laughs> no. You never think about men? Now, isn't that a silly question? You never think about I other guys. I am a woman, right? But you never think about other guys besides your husband? You think about other guys. Uh, Come on, you know you do. I give that marriage half a year. Half a year? <laughs> Not even the whole year you gave it before. Somebody, oh, no. And you dress up and stuff for your husband? Like, what happened? Like, all right, let me get the whole story. Uh, now, do you cuff your husband in bed? Hey, where's your husband? I gotta see the guy that got you. You wanna see him? Yeah, hey, Gary, bring in the. Sure. 
Bring in the... Bring in the sergeant. Come on, Charlie. Man. <clears throat> what I'd do to you. What would you do, Howard? Oh, I, all, shouldn't, I shouldn't be asking that. Hey, can I hug you? Hello? Huh? Uh, you didn't even get to <laughs> greet her. Hus- well, her husband's coming in. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll throw him out later. <laughs> Here he is. I mean, Charlie. <laughs> sure. Look at you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Okay, what That's you tell me. Charlie? That's Charlie? He got you? It's no offense, Charlie. I mean, you know, on, you're all right. You're not bad, but you don't deserve her. I've never... S- Wait a minute. Well, how are we growing our cobs these days? Yeah. How you doing? All right, how are you? Hard-working cop? He is, yeah. Did you ever think in your life, this is the best-looking girl you ever got, Now, you had never right? seen her until the riot? Right. Yeah. Is she the best-looking one you ever got? Definitely. Yeah, I mean, did you ever think that you would meet another cop? That would look like this? Not at all, no way. And you rushed to marry her, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he proposed during the riot. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would never... Would you marry me? <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, listen, I'm not saying you're a bad-looking guy, but you're like an average guy like the rest of us. To get someone like this... Oh, now I feel good. You ever have lesbianism? I, how did I know you were going to ask me that? <laughs> how I bet did you I did. know? How did I know you were going to? You ask had it, me didn't that? you? You had another woman. Howard. Did you? How do you know? Did you? Oh have one? my goodness! You had one, didn't you? I could tell. Oh boy! No kid, boy, you no. lucky bastard! You hit the jackpot with her. No, Howard, I didn't agree with you yet. You have had another woman. I didn't agree. I with see you it in your yet. eyes. You don't have to I agree. Didn't agree. I see. You have a very full body, and women were hitting on you. You figured you'd try. You're they experimental. They hit on me. I'll, I'll agree to that. Yeah, I mean, you're gorgeous. There's no question about it. I mean, when she's naked, do you freak out? I've I, seen... I contain myself. And you can hold out sexually? Uh, he, he's... He's good? He's good. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mom. But it's true. My nightstick just woke up. <laughs> Are you serious? My mother's going to kill me. You can hold out. When you see her naked, you can hold out. I would, I would be done in a second. <laughs> No kidding. Oh, well, you're twice the man I am. I can't believe it. And the first time you make love, she disrobes. Are you like out of your mind? And you're like, I gotta marry yeah, I was, this. Uh, yeah, I was. You were. I was like devastated. Devastated. <laughs> were you wearing a special outfit? Do you get into like a special outfit for the big occasion? Mm, no, I didn't honestly. Because there was rarely girls in the house. It wasn't make love. really planned. Really? No, it wasn't. And are your parents real planning. Jewish? Because he's not a Jewish guy. You know? I'm not Jewish. You're not? No. You're Israeli, but you're not Jewish? Greek Orthodox. Greek Orthodox? How'd that, that happen? How'd that happen? True. I don't know, but there's not many of us. I'll really? That. Mm-hmm. An Israeli Greek Orthodox? That's unusual. Yeah, we'll make I'm more of them. Is- I'm, not a- no, I'm not Israeli. Listen to me. I'm not religious at all, though. So let me get this straight. You get her in the sack. Here we go. And then, like, is she just, was she, like, wearing, like, a Merry Widow or something? Were you wearing a Merry Widow? I don't think she was wearing much. You were naked? No. Did you leave your shoes on? <laughs> I, I don't know. No, she's told me to begin with, so we had to take the shoes off. Really? Yeah. How many times do you do it? Like, six? Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> Any real man would do it six times with Easily, her. Yeah. Easily. <laughs> Easily. You're, you're low, yeah, Right, right. You're low. That's why she, you know, she dumped the other guy. In. Right, because you knew how to handle oh, it. I, I didn't even... I forgot about the other guy. And you're very, you're very horny, day. right? Seriously. I mean, you know it's your wife, but you're very sexual. I can tell. I am. I can tell. Um, I am. You need sex. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the perfect woman for me. <laughs> I should marry you. You already have, like, two kids, don't you? I got three kids. Who cares? <laughs> You've forgotten about them already. I forgot about them. <laughs> I want your wife. By the, by the, uh, so what happens? You hey, send an issue. Though. I got the issue. So you send naked pictures of your wife into no, Playboy? No, they weren't naked, no. What'd you do? Bathing How'd you get suit. in Playboy? You sent some bathing suit? Yeah. Who took them? Uh, I think our friends. We met friends on the cruise ship. You're on a cruise ship and friends take pictures of you and send them into Playboy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no, no. We oh, had you the had pictures, them. But they, they, they sent them over to Playboy. Whose idea was it to send the pictures? Yours? Both of them. Charlie? Yeah. Who brought it up first? Yeah. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie likes showing her off. I think I brought it up. I really? think I brought up Playboy. Yeah? Yeah. Who's but it wasn't like a plan model? of yours to become a cop and say, hey, that's a way to get into no. Playboy. I mean, I you wanted to be a cop. I didn't consider it. Right. I really didn't. I just went to the police academy. I figured, let me get college credits. I was in St. John's at the time. Right. I said, here's an, another 30 credits. 
I'm going to go to the academy. You wearing panties right now? Oh, panties. You're not, are you? I would. You're yes, not wearing I panties. Am. You are yes, not. I, am. <laughs> I can tell you not. You can tell me your pants are too tight. They're not tight. Those are tight this pants. This isn't tight. That's tight. This isn't not tight. tight. Those are not breast implants, huh? No, these are. These are wow. They don't allow those on the police. Mommy board. gave me these. Can you imagine being that thin with breasts that big? <laughs> that's that's a freak. You're a freak. You realize that? <laughs> oh, that's why she looks so good in those pictures. She looks great, man. Let me take a look at these pictures. Look at this one. And you don't mind people looking at your wife? No. Way, well, no, you no can. Way. You know what I like? I like your wife in the panties. This one. In the panties with her legs oiled That's up. My That's my favorite one. And her bra is pushed down so you can see everything. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> and her legs are wide open for action. No, I don't know about that. That's action. You want action. You. I'm surprised you got married. This is a body that needs... Two, three guys at the same time. I didn't, oh. I didn't think I'd get married this quickly. Yeah, you need a heavy workout. Well, what did Charlie have? <laughs> yeah, Charlie must be good. He gives you the big O, huh? Yeah? yeah? Makes you see colors, does he? No. Fireworks. Fireworks. <laughs> I like this one of you laying on the bed. What am I, do you ever wait at home for Charlie in this position? <laughs> Damn, Charlie, Can't is she? Yeah, she are, you living a, are your friends, like, out of their minds that you got her? Do you just stay home now? You don't even bring your friends over, do you? I bet you a lot of guys want to become cops now. They think this is going to happen to them. Yeah. Boy, are they in for a big shock. They just keep telling sure me. Yeah. You're the luckiest guy in the world. Yeah, right. I would, you want to get her retired. You, you don't want her on the street. Yeah, what is Honestly, she doing I don't know. There? Yeah, right. You don't want to lose her. I don't want to lose her. You want to quit your job already. You we'll, like being a we'll cop? We'll work on that. I, I like it. I really do. It's different. Yeah. It is. It's, no, well, they ought to let you do different. some indoor work. You shouldn't be out of Crown Heights looking the way you do. But I'm ready for. Uh, can you handle different. yourself? Can you handle like you can you oh, subdue sure a guy can. and everything? Yes, I can. You know karate? No karate. I don't need him. Really? You're saying you could kick my ass? If you had to subdue Howard, how would you do it? Oh, I know how she'd do it. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. She'd pull my pants down. <laughs> oh no, that's not what I was. Gonna oh, that's what I was going to say. I'll be I'll be subdued. <laughs> do you ever work as an undercover prostitute? No. You never did. No. Never. You should, man. I'll pay. <laughs> Everybody'd be screeching to a house. They just yeah, have to right. drive everybody she, to the she station. See cars like bashing into each other. Because you ever see some of these undercover prostitutes? Ooh. It's like who's gonna pay? They're, they're guys, aren't they? Yeah. A lot of them are. Yeah. Look at. Be great, you know. Carol went out and did some of that undercover prostitute work, and they arrest the mayor or somebody. You know? <laughs> I don't care. I gotta pull over. She's beautiful. All the city fathers. Yeah, right. I don't care if I'm breaking the law. If there are laws to be broken, I'll break them. I'm the mayor. Oh, if loving boy. you is wrong, I don't want to do right. <laughs> I don't want to be right. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. I can't believe it. You need a workout. I'm telling you from me. It's unbelievable. <laughs> okay, we'll take care of that when we get home. Believe me. We'll give it a workout. No, I'll give it a workout. <laughs> you don't know how to do it. <laughs> hey, I'm Howard. I'm, I'm pro cop. All right, let's take a break, and then we'll be back right after these words. So where can we see you walking around on a beat and stuff? So if guys want to meet you and get... I'm usually in a car. Yeah. I'm in the Throgs Neck area yeah. of the Bronx. I really don't want to say much more. I mean... So if guys get down to the Bronx, chances are oh, they can say dear. hi to you? They can say hi. <laughs> yeah, right. Imagine, like, guys following Everybody's the car. Everybody's losing the Throgs Neck area of the Bronx. Is it really? It's happening already. No, I can really believe strange. it. You're I very sensual. I can't believe it. That's unbelievable. People recognize me. Like having Sophia Loren running around in a cop <laughs> uniform. <laughs> So if I was to know where your cop car was and I speed, you have to pull me over and I can meet you, right? I should give you a yeah. free ticket. You would give us a ticket? And you have to pull us I over and subdue us? I will give you a ticket, Howard. No, I know. But I'm saying if we're speeding, you would absolutely pull us over and we can meet you? Yeah. Cool. It'll cost you It'll cost Good deal. something, but... It's worth it. <laughs> and what will you be wearing? Your uniform? My or uniform. do you ever wear just plain clothes? No. They ought to let you wear plain clothes. I'm not privileged. And you have a partner? No one's steady. But you have a you have a guy who travels with you, right? I work with a girl sometimes. And sometimes a guy. And sometimes a guy. Charlie, you trust her boy. partner? I trust her. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you trust her. Now, when you got him at home, you don't need to. Uh, really? No. We'll see. You guys are newlyweds. We'll see about that. <laughs> My wife used to talk like that, too. Now she's like, no, well, well when you got him at home. You need a lot. You need, you need, I need seven vibrators. <laughs> Do you ever, when, when you're wearing your uniform and stuff, do you ever unbutton the top button and show a little no, cleavage? No, no. No. So when you went to Playboy and you had to undress, were you uptight about taking your clothes off in front of them? Not at all. I no felt very comfortable. 
And were you afraid? They made me feel very comfortable. Were Had you, you ever done any nude bathing or anything no. before? No. Do you ever take your top off on vacation? Lying, she is lying? What? All right. You, wait, what you want to consult your lawyer? Oh, all right. Uh, One time. <laughs> yeah? You went, where'd you okay. go on your honeymoon? Saint, on a cruise, but... Oh. And what happened? You we like? To, I went topless in St. Martin. You just Ooh. walked around the beach topless. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was like ten people there. Ooh. And we're yeah, and we're and like they they're were all staring. bottomless too, so I didn't, I felt. Uh, you felt covered. Modest compared to them. Did you want her to be topless? She wanted to. So yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. But then we had a little. I problem. went on vacation with my wife. What was the problem? There were these guys sitting in front of us. Staring at you. So you know what he did? Why don't you tell him what you did? Uh -oh. You beat him up? No, I took my shorts off. Oh. Did you really? <laughs> Showed him your weenie? Yeah, then he turned around again. That was that. Hey, good for you. Ooh. Fred, give me some St. Martin sound effect. <laughs> anyway, so the point is, you go away on your honeymoon, and you're oh, topless, nice. in a thong, yes. and you're laying on a chaise lounge like that? Actually, no, on the sand. Oh. I went away with my wife yeah. on vacation, the last vacation. There was like 20 girls there, all like, it's like a bunch of guys who brought down their young girlfriends. Right. Old codgers, and they're all laying there topless. <laughs> my wife goes, maybe I'll go topless. <laughs> and you told her what? I said, keep your top on. You have three kids. Are you crazy? <laughs> your wife was thinking of going topless. No, she knows topless? to keep that top on. <laughs> Hey, it's hot in here. Let's pretend we're on vacation and take our shirts off. <laughs> Some more idea. What's the big deal? You guys are uptight. You're cops. I'm okay. All right. Keep your shirt on, Charlie. <laughs> so anyway, so then you go over there. And weren't you afraid you'd be on your period or something during the Playboy shoot? Uh, oh. Oh, Howard. Well, well, you think that's gross? That's something you got to worry about. You weren't on your period, right? So I'm not going to tell you. Oh, come on. Were you on your period during oh, the Playboy shoot? I'm not telling you, Howard. You were on your, you were on your period. Get oh. yourself. She was together. on her period for the... Uh, Why would Oh, you, say you were on your period. Do I look bloated. No, I'm just saying. So weren't then? you afraid you were on your period? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you believe this? You were not. You swear. Raise your right hand. No, I don't want to. Say, I swear ah, to. I oh, swear. so you were on your period. I don't want to swear. I, I knew it, Charlie. She was on her period. I don't remember. So. Well, you were there. She wasn't there. I wasn't there. Are you on your period right now as we speak? Uh, you are, aren't that's you? That's horrible. No, it is not. Was, that's wrong. I'm not. All right. <sighs> I own my period. <laughs> oh, and seriously, that doesn't affect your sex life. You guys even have sex during that. Yeah. I would, I would have sex with her on her period. Ooh. I would, Carol. That's how attractive I think you are. Thank you, Howard. Thank you. You are too. That's high. a nice compliment. I really it would. Is. I don't care time of the month. With her, I do everything. And he satisfies you. Yeah, he does. He does everything to you. Really, and you're up for everything. <laughs> can I hug your wife goodbye, Charlie? Would that yeah, be okay? No if it's all right with uh, Carol, is it okay? Yeah, you can hug me goodbye. All right, come over here. Let's hug. Come on. Uh, here we go. <laughs> cuff him. Cuff hey, him. thanks, Charlie. <laughs> no, don't cuff me. Uh, come over here. Yeah, take those off. Take those stupid headphones off. You don't need those. It ruins your look. <laughs> what kind of shoes are you wearing? Hey, look your wife over, man. They're open. All right, you, oh, those open, open toes? Let me see those. Oh, those are sexy. Now, what are the parameters? Are we going to kiss? No, we're just hugging. No, I'll kiss on the cheek. No, no. I'll kiss oh, just on a hug. The... No, just hug. I'll kiss First, on let's the start with a hug. Okay. Is that okay, Charlie? <laughs> sure. A hug and then a kiss on the cheek? Sure, that's fine. All right. Come here. Come here. Get closer. Don't be scared. Hug me <laughs> like you. So, and now say, Daddy, I love you. Oh, I want to be Daddy. I want to be happy too. Carol, how'd it go? Great. Yeah? Oh, very good. Charlie, how'd it go? Very good. No complaints. Oh, now I feel good. Fred reminded me we promised to show uh, Fred's paintings. Ja Jackie, Fred, and I went through a painting period. It was very brief. Oh, well. Hey, listen. <laughs> Meanwhile, you wanted uh, one of those paintings. And I made you one, and now you want well, you the... didn't ever make me one. Well, you wanted... Uh, well, I will I make I wanted you the one. one you gave away. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, hey, Gary, maybe bring him Fred's painting. It's so good. He, Fred is really quite good. He's it's like quite. Sylvester Stallone. He's an artist. Yeah. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone is known primarily as an actor, but can paint. Right. Yeah. Fred is primarily known for whatever it is he I does think, over there. And I then, think I paint better than he does. Yeah. You know what I want? I want Gary to stand sideways while I show that picture to the camera. <laughs> I was very inspired one day when he was sitting there. Gary is Fred's favorite subject. Hey, come here. Well, I Take got the a, painting I, and stand next to it. All right, and I have to say, Howard, yeah. Fred drew this a long time ago, so I don't really look like this anymore. Yeah, right. right, right. Don't, don't show it yet. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now, it's turn, wonderful. Here, hold it. Turn sideways. Yeah. Is right, that the that's right good. side? That's right. 
Turn so that's good. Right. And where am I holding it up to? Hold it, hold it straight out. <laughs> now turn sideways. Like just like in the picture. Look, no, look that, that look way. straight that's ahead. It. That's it. Gary. He doesn't know sideways. I don't look like that anymore. Uh, his hair is longer now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you don't look like oh, that. Oh, yeah, his hair had been shorn off. Is that the greatest? You know what Fred really captured on my picture that I think is amazing? Yeah. Of how I don't oh, wow. shave the hairs on the back of my neck. Yeah, turn to the side so we can see that. Well, you just I got, a I just got a haircut. You would shave yeah. the hairs on the back of your neck? Yeah, of course. That's my wife's job. I have a little clipper. She does it every two weeks. Yeah, what a lucky woman. She gets to have your baby and... Yeah. Shave your hair. Honey, like, do you want a water pick or should I shave the hair here's on the a back picture of your neck? Of, well, as long as you bring that up, here's a picture that a listener sent in. It's a beautiful color picture of Gary holding his new baby. Baby uh, monkey. Baby boy. No, Baby da, boy. Da, da dummy. Da da dummy. Look at that. In the, in the oh. <laughs> that is cute. Baba booey. There he is. There's all kind of, everyone gets in on the fun. That's nice. And uh, we'll see you.